Hey, good evening everyone. It's me T Healy and it's that time for again, Thought for Tuesday. So first of all, I just want to address that elephant in the room. Maybe you might have noticed I was not available last week and that's because um, I took some time off to myself. So thank you so much for allowing me to have that space. And here I am now to continue with our Thought for Tuesdays. And um, today's Thought for Tuesday is about making space in our lives for the new experiences and the new things. Um, so at this point, I am doing some house cleanings. And I remember once listening to Dr. Wayne Dyer because I always, always, always admire and respect Dr. Wayne Dyer. I mean, he's no longer here, but he's been an amazing influence in my life over the last um, year and a half. And um, he talked about you know, just simplify, simplify, simplify. And even using three simplifiers is too much. Just use one, simplify, simplify your life. And I've been applying that aspect by doing some cleaning. It seems like it's just house cleaning, but with everything that I dispose of or give away and donate, I feel like I'm making, I'm, there's a, I'm creating an energetic shift where I am making space for new discoveries, for new experiences, and for new mindsets in my life. And um, it's a really positive experience. It's very cleansing. Um, we, we, we accumulate things. We're, that's how we are. We're, we, the, the nature of, of our very environment is that we accumulate. And um, a lot of these things that we may have, we may not necessarily have a use for it, but they may have memories, there may be memories attached to it, there may be energies attached to it, and um, as a result, we just don't want to let go. Surrounded in this very space that you see here, almost everything around it, there's a memory to it. I, I hold on to the littlest things, I might hold on to a paper clip, um, because the paperclip might be that paperclip that I held with someone really special at that time and I, I, I don't want to let go of the energy. But the thing my friends is, I, yes it's true, I want to hold on to that energy because it reminds me of a great time, but in order to have more great times and, and more new and beautiful experiences, I have to let go of that paperclip and give it to someone else who actually might need it. Or if it's of it, if it's so ragged and there's absolutely no real use for it anymore, I release it with love and I I send it on it and I send it on its next journey. Maybe it's, its next journey is recycling, and um, that's not a bad thing because it's going back to a place a, to source where it can be useful again. Not necessarily with a paper clip, but anything. Um, so yeah, that's my thought for Tuesday that I'd like to share with you today. And um, I'd like to invite you to, you know, do some self-inquiry. What can you make space for in your life right now? What are you holding on to? What energies are you holding on to? What memories are you holding on to? What physical things are you holding on to? That perhaps if you were to let it go, you'd have more beautiful experiences because what has happened to me is in giving these things to people who need it, in some cases virtual strangers, I feel so, I want to know, it feels very fulfilling just to know that you're helping a stranger. You'll never probably see the person or the recipient of, of who's receiving this thing from you, yet you know that you are being part of a collective good. Um, it really is a nice feeling and the other and on the other end of the spectrum here It is that I'm also making space for new experiences in my life and for new energies New mindsets like I mentioned before new everything and maybe it the newest thing is that I just needed this space to become a minimalist and um, Yeah, that's what I'd like to encourage you to think about what can you give away, give away and in doing so, make space in your life for something new and give yourself an opportunity to breathe. So 
that's my thought for Tuesday. It's a bit shorter than usual today. Thank you so much for listening and for <coughs> allowing me to share my perspective with you almost every Tuesday. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great week. Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Namaste.